got breaking news here. Okay, we are now reporting that Ralph Northam has won the Virginia governor's race. Ralph Northam, the Democrat, beating Ed Gillespie with 58% in. We are projecting uh, that he is the winner tonight. So we will bring you more detail on that. And if, I don't know if we can... Uh, Kristen Fisher is live at the Ralph Northam uh, headquarters uh, right now. Kristen, are you there? We're going to get to Kristen Fisher in just a second. I don't think we have official statements from either campaign. But as we just said, we are now declaring uh, or acknowledging the declaration that Ralph Northam is the winner in this race. And it looks like by about three points. Kristen Fisher, I think, is standing by at the Northern headquarters in Virginia tonight. Kristen? There she is. This is, there you have it right there. Uh, big, big cheers coming out of uh, this crowd of Northam supporters after it's announced that he just won Virginia's race for governor. This is a tremendous relief for Democrats, especially after what happened in 2016. You know, even though Northam was up in the polls, uh, it was close, it was tight. And what happened in 2016 had them very, very concerned that they couldn't trust the polls. And it also, uh, they were you know, very kind of psychologically nervous that they wouldn't be able to pull out a win in a state, even though it's been turning increasingly blue. And this part of Virginia, especially Northern Virginia, right on the outskirts of Washington, D.C., has been turning increasingly Democratic in recent years. Hillary Clinton won this state by five points. Um, and now Northam has just done the same. You know, voting turnout has been uh, surprisingly high here today, even though it's been a very rainy day. Uh, it's also been a non-presidential year, obviously. So uh, despite all of those factors, voter turnout was up. Democrats were hopeful that that would lead to a win for them, and it just did tonight. As for Ed Gillespie, uh, I'd imagine it's a, a much uh, far less uh, sour and somber scene uh, over at his headquarters. Tonight, you know, he really came so close, did far better than uh, most people expected him to do. He really tried to uh, tie himself to President Trump's agenda. He campaigned hard uh, on, on immigration, on crime. He hit his opponent very hard. And in the final days of this campaign, uh, Northam hit back a bit. There was that ad that we've been talking about so much, which uh, wasn't produced by the Northam campaign, but it was produced by uh, a Latino group outside the campaign, which showed a man in a, in a pickup truck with a Gillespie bumper sticker on the back uh, chasing down minority children. Uh, that has led to one of the most bitter elections, the most bitter campaigns in recent memory, uh, Tucker. But tonight, Northam pulled out the win that he needed to win. Back to you. Kristen Fisher at Governor-elect, apparently Governor-elect uh, Northern's headquarters. Thank you very much.